everyone. I hope you're safe and sound during this period. And if you're going to spend a lot of time at home, I'm guessing you might be quite restless just like me. So I just got into a new place and I've been thinking and spotting all these tiny things in the house that I want to do home improvement with. So I'm no expert, but Tiggs and I are going to help walk through the process on us painting our house and giving it a fresh new look. And for my walls, I'll be using Care Interior Paints by Gush. They're an advanced materials company that uh, does really cool paint. It's specially formulated to not just have fantastic colours, it also purifies the air uh, using a catalyst as most innovative materials that break down toxic chemicals in the air, uh, moulding spores as well as bacteria. One of the other great things about Gush is that it has one of the lowest VOCs in the world and if you have kids at home or like me with cats, they're going to be quite safe. Before you even start painting, the first thing you got to consider is the colour that you're going to paint on your walls. Head onto the Gush website and you'll be able to see all the colour samples there. I picked a light blue terracotta that's right here. Um, I'm going for very uh, clay, earthy colours in my house and this just sits right there very nicely. The next question to ask yourself is how much paint do I need? So I'm just going to do one room and this is the guest room and I know the calculator says I would need about 5 litres of paint. For a smooth painting experience, you need to have these things at hand. Rollers of a variety of sizes that you would find helpful. Brushes, um, I like to use a small brush for precision. A uh, drop cloth or a drop sheet um, that to help you cover up surfaces. A paint tray and a cloth that you use to kind of wipe away any mistakes or as well as your hands when you need to get things done. So this is the wall that I'm going to paint. What I've got to do is shift all the furniture that's close to the wall into the center of the room, cover it with a drop sheet or a drop cloth so paint doesn't get on it. And then I would also be using this uh, painter's tape with the plastic to be able to cover it over the floor so I don't get any paint on the floor. Uh, but fret not, for gush paint, it's water-based so if it does get on the floor, it can be easily wiped off with a cloth. Let's get started. Shake and stir the paint tin, pour out the paint onto the paint tray. To load the paint, first dampen the roller cover with a wet rag. Dip just a little way into the paint, uh, resist dunking the whole thing in, and roll on the grid and line a few times to even it out. I'll start at the top of the wall and a few inches away from the edge, roll the paint onto the ceiling, um, sort of do this vertical zigzag pattern, overlap your lines a little and go slow to avoid the paint splatter. Don't press and squeeze the roller against the wall to get more paint out of it. If you feel like you're running out of paint, just reload. To remove the buildup and runs, don't add more paint. Just lightly roll over the painted area from the ceiling to the floor apply sort of minimal pressure just to get that evenness. Now, moving on to the edges. So I'm changing to a brush. I'll dip the brush maybe just a third of the way in, like an inch in into the paint and just feather it down. Just do these light strokes all the way at the corners that you can't get and ta-da. Okay, so I'm done with one coat. Care is quick drying, so you can go get two coats done in one day. If you need to take a break, cover your bucket with a, a lid, cover the paint tray, and store them in the fridge. That's a quick tip. Super glad about the way it's turned out, and there's new smell as well. This is Snow and he seems to be happy to be in the room. Um, if you so do, it's very easy to actually do this all by yourself. Um, just follow the steps and do the right prep. If, if you have any questions, you can head on down to the Gush website and check out this air purifying paint. It's really quite life changing. So I can't wait to see you guys to transform your own homes during this time. Uh, stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.